They called him dangerous, arrogant, godless, a man who tore faith from the hearts of millions. But behind the controversy and outrage stood not a destroyer, but a seeker. Richard Dawkins was not born to hate belief. He was born to question it, to challenge the comfortable illusions that chained human thought for centuries. Born in Nairobi in 1941, he grew up watching a world divided by borders, by dogma, by fear masquerading as faith. And as he looked at life, at the precision of nature, the elegance of evolution, he didn't see divine chaos. He saw pattern, reason, design without a designer. He saw truth, and that was enough. When The Selfish Gene was published in 1976, the world trembled. He dared to say that life's beauty wasn't born of divine intent, but of blind selection, a cold, elegant struggle that gave rise to everything we are. He became both prophet and heretic. Millions found freedom in his words and millions found fury. But Dawkins was no villain of faith. He was a poet of science. His rebellion was not against God, but against the tyranny of ignorance. He gave people permission to wonder without worship, to question without fear. Through hate, through death threats, through decades of ridicule, he stood unbroken because truth for him was sacred. He once said, we are all lucky to be here, the survivors of the lottery of existence. And that's the heart of his revolution. Gratitude not to gods, but to life itself. He didn't destroy faith. He replaced blind obedience with all. This is not blasphemy. This is awakening. This is chronicles of spirit.